Restaurant workers are now wondering how they'll survive economically while also facing the threat of the virus. Yeah, Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes went to the Metro East where workers fear health measures are backfiring. This is TR's place in Belleville, completely vacant on the inside ever since Illinois' lockdown two weeks ago, as COVID numbers on the outside have only gotten worse. It doesn't make sense to me because the numbers keep going up, but yet we are actually complying. Kelly Barbary is one of many workers who wonders when they'll run out of money. The tips have gone down like a lot. I mean, it's just because we don't have the people that we used to. They're closed inside as ordered, while COVID positivity rates in the Metro East only seem to climb faster. The positivity rate was 9.7% two weeks ago when the lockdown started. It's risen every day since then, up to 16.3% as of the last update. Many people in the restaurant industry I've spoken with believe that keeping people out of restaurants is not resulting in them making safer choices. Barbary, for instance, says customers listen to her when she tells them to wear a mask. They follow the rules for us. I mean, they respect Kim, our owner. I mean, they respect us girls, so they don't really have a problem with it. These restaurants are absolutely top notch at safety and keeping these types of things from happening. And they're following social distance guidelines. I've got my mask right here for if I get up out of this chair. Attorney Tom DeVore is representing hundreds of Illinois restaurants trying to convince Illinois' governor his lockdowns are misguided. It's his desire to stifle the gathering of people within these restaurants. What I don't think they appreciate is when you take that away, they go do it at home in a less controlled environment. So positivity can ramp up by your very efforts, and I think that's what's going on in Illinois. This is our livelihood and our income. Barbary's boss, Kim Gallagher, says she has to fight tears when talking about the impact on her work family. My friends, my coworkers are also my friends. Most of us are single moms, and it's Christmas time. It's sad. Here at TR's place, they're abiding by all of the guidelines, either doing takeout only or allowing people to sit outside in their tent or their garage. For the Fox Files. I'm Chris Hayes.